Hello everyone, N3FJZ here, and this is more uh, work on the uh, Max SSB uh, transceiver, and this is uh, module number 230, which is the RX amp variable gain. Okay, module 230, which is the variable gain RX amp, is right here in the block diagram. And it is the amp just prior to the first mixer, right after the bandpass filters. So what we got here is that um, signal will come in through the antenna, make its way through the low pass filter, it's bypassed around the PA on receive. Signal then goes through the bandpass filter and then it hits the variable gain RF amplifier, which I'm calling the RX amp to differentiate it from the, the two IF amplifiers. Now these are all um, Wes Hayward uh, termination insensitive amps and this one here is his latest uh, paper that he had uh, put out for a variable gain RF amp in this case uh, you could build an AGC and this would be the uh, one of the gain variable gain stages okay to find a schematic you can do a search for my call sign and look for the uh, line circuit 6040 uh, homebrew ham radio Remy Park and I bring up my uh, home page and on it you will see the max SSB transceiver you click on that link And then on the left side, you could scroll down and find the uh, module 230 RX amp variable gain. And that will bring up the schematic and layout. Okay, to do a crude test of this module, what I'll do is I will install it in the signal path of my existing, uh, I believe this is a ZX SSB2 or whatever I named it, but essentially it's a, it's a copy of a bit X with the uh, Wes Haver W7ZOI uh, termination and sensitive amplifiers and driven by a uh, SI5351 for the VFO and BFO controlled by a Arduino Nano. So we'll go ahead and substitute that in where it would normally appear in the, uh, the, the Max SSB. So to get a baseline, let's see what we can hear here. Hey, what's going on up there? You're sounding pretty good. Well, you sound pretty good on uh, 40 meters too, yeah. Oh, no, I said you would just take it out. Hey, Art, you got a copy on uh, Eddie up there? 
I do. I hear Eddie, uh, not not a, a, you know, it's a little weak, but I do make out what you're saying. Good morning uh, from N4QNT, North Carolina. Yeah, this is uh, Alpha Bravo 8, Lima, Lima, Michigan. Okay, and what I'll do is, uh, this is the first uh, bi-directional amp right after the uh, the bandpass filter. I will be uh, installing the variable gain amp in place of, of this module here. May he rest in peace. You guys doing uh, dogs anymore, Eddie? Okay, I tack soldered the board onto the ground plane here and disconnected the wires going to the original TIA amp. And I got the variable gain amp in the circuit with the just basically clip leads connecting it to the signal path. I'm not, uh, I used to drink three, four, or five cups. I can't anymore, Paul. Really? I usually have one 24 ounce cup of coffee every day. And here I can turn RF gain down and I can turn it up. All that kind of changes as you get older. Well, you know, it's funny, DJ Mary never used to like coffee. Now she has one cup a day. Okay, from what I can determine, I believe this is a zero to at least 20 dB gain variation from minimum to maximum. How's the band holding up here? You, you, Dwayne, you still copy? And just checking it by ear, it sounds reasonably good, uh, as good as the other amp. So I'm going to say that this is a successful test and another module completed. Oh, yeah. He was pointed yeah, down towards you guys. That 40 meter Yagi. T-Bone. Yeah, your beam pointed this way, T-Bone. I see you. I 10 minutes till all that time, T-Bone. Okay, 73, everyone. Keep building, and I'll be back with another module shortly. 73 N3 FJZ.